Hey everybody, so today we're reading Lily's Big Day and it's by Kevin Hinks. This is kind of a long one, so get ready. One day, Lily's teacher, Mr. Slinger, announced to the class that he was going to marry Miss Shotwell, the school nurse. Lily's heart leaped. She had always wanted to be a flower girl. This will be the biggest day of my life, said Mr. Slinger. Mine too, whispered Lily. At home, in her room, Lily practiced being a flower girl. First, she changed into something more appropriate. Then she held her head high and smiled brightly and raised her eyebrows and turned her head from side to side and carried her hands proudly in front of her and hummed, here comes the bride, and walked the length of her room very, very slowly, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This will be the biggest day of my life. Who are you pretending to be tonight? Asked Lily's mother at dinner. I'm not pretending, said Lily. I'm a flower girl. Oh, well, who's getting married, said her father. Mr. Slinger, said Lily. Really, said her mother. Really, said her father. Really, said Lily. He's going to marry Mrs. Shotwell. He told us today, and I'm going to be the flower girl. You are, said her father. Did Mr. Slinger ask you, said her mother. Well, not yet, said Lily. At bedtime, Lily's mother said, Lily, there are so many students in your class. Mr. Slinger couldn't possibly pick just one to be the flower girl. Her father said, it wouldn't be fair. He probably has a niece, said her mother. Maybe Aunt Mona will get married someday, said her father. Do you understand what we're saying, said her mother. Lily nodded. Are you sure, asked her father. She nodded again. After her parents left the room, Lily said, I understand that I'm going to be the flower girl. Oops. The next day at school, Mr. during sharing time, Lily said, I've always wanted to be a flower girl, more than a surgeon or a diva or a hairdresser. The following afternoon, when Mr. Slinger had recess duty, Lily picked handfuls of weeds at the edge of the playground. She carried the weeds proudly in front of her and walked very slowly past Mr. Slinger until the bell rang. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And the morning after that, Lily went to the light bulb lab in the back of the classroom. She drew a self-portrait. Me, Lily, the world's best and most famous flower girl. Smart, beautiful, better than the bride. Better than the bride? Lily. Mr. Slinger called Lily up to his desk during quiet reading time. Lily, he said, I can tell that you want to be a flower girl. But unfortunately, my niece, Ginger, is going to be the flower girl at my wedding. Lily's heart sank. But, said Mr. Slinger, I also want you to know that everybody from the class is invited to the wedding. We can all dance together at the reception. It will be fun. Lily's stomach hurt. This seems really important to you, said Mr. Slinger. Lily's cheeks turned pink. You know, said Mr. Slinger, I was just thinking you might like to be Ginger's assistant. You could stand with her and keep her company until she has to walk down the aisle. You could make sure her dress isn't crooked and that she holds the flowers properly. Lily considered this. You could remind her to walk slowly, said Mr. Slinger. Lily considered some more. You could wear a corsage, said Mr. Slinger. Ugh, all right, said Lily, if you need me so much. Well, I can't turn the pages. Here we go. Lily tried to get excited about being Ginger's assistant. Weddings wouldn't even exist without flower girl assistants she told her little brother Julius. I have special responsibilities, she told her parents. When her granny took her shopping for a new dress for the wedding, Lily told the clerk, a flower girl assistant is a very important job, important and glamorous. But when it really sank in that she would not be walking down the aisle carrying a bouquet with everyone watching, Lily pretended that her teddy bear was Mr. Slinger and she made him sit in the uncooperative chair. You can just stay there forever, she said. 
As the wedding drew near, Mr. Slinger counted down the days on the chalkboard. One day closer to the biggest day of my life, he would say. One day closer to the biggest day of Ginger's life, Lily would whisper. Well, Lily's kind of jealous, isn't she? She's kind of jealous. And still at home in her room, Lily practiced. She held her head high and smiled brightly and raised her eyebrows and turned her head from side to side and carried her hands proudly in front of her and hummed, here comes the bride, and walked the length of her room very, very slowly, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm having trouble with these pages, aren't I? On the day of the wedding, the day of the wedding finally arrived, excuse me, Lily hoped and hoped that Ginger would have pink eye or a very bad fever and just not show up. But there she was, and she was ready, and her dress was straight, and she held the flowers properly. Are you sure you want to do this? said Lily. Yes, said Ginger. Are you sure? Yes. Are you really sure that you're sure? Lily hoped that Ginger would just change her mind, but she didn't. It was time for the ceremony to begin. The music swelled and everyone stood. The moment came for Ginger to walk down the aisle, but Ginger didn't move. Mr. Slinger motioned her forward. Go, said Lily. Ginger was frozen. Now, said Lily. Ginger was still. You can do it, said Lily, but Ginger couldn't. Everyone waited and waited and waited. No one knew what to do except for Lily. Lily scooped up Ginger and said, here we go. Lily walked very slowly down the aisle. She held her head up high and smiled brightly and raised her eyebrows and turned her head from side to side and carried Ginger in front of her. When she reached Mr. Slinger, everyone clapped. I knew this would be the biggest day of my life, said Lily. Lily was so excited she barely noticed the rest of the ceremony. After The reception after was great fun. After the cake was served, Lily coached Ginger for the next time that she was going to be a flower girl. I won't be, at you, be with you at every wedding, said Lily. I'm not going to be able to save you every time. They walked together back and forth, back and forth, very slowly. And soon they were dancing. Soon after that, they were joined by Chester and Wilson and Victor and Julius and Mr. Slinger and Miss Shotwell and many others. It's interpretive dance, said Mr. Slinger. We're doing the flower girl, said Lily. Lily's family stayed at the reception until Lily was perfectly exhausted. But there's something I have to do before we go, said Lily. She needed to find Ginger one more time. And when she did, she said, Ginger, when I get married, you can be my flower girl. All right, so that was Lily's Big Day by Kevin Hinks. And that is a great story about how to be a good friend. Oh, Lily didn't really get her way, did she? Well, she kind of did at the end, but it's not exactly how she wanted it. Sometimes we don't get our way, and that's just life. We gotta take a deep breath. We gotta chill out. We're not always gonna get what we want. That's just how it goes. And that's what Lily had to learn in our story, wasn't it? All right, guys, if you're gonna take the AR test, I need you to listen to this story several times. That means more than three, okay? Because it's a hard test. It's gonna be long, like 10 questions or something, okay? All right, I'll see y'all later. Happy reading.